Hey, Secrets Readers, this is Carlo LaRosso, and I'm here at CanJam New York City 2024 with Hi-Fi Man's Dr. Feng Bian. Hello, everybody. And uh, he has uh, graciously uh, invited, uh, invited us to sit down and chat about uh, uh, a few things. But first of all, we're going to cover uh, two of the new products that Hi-Fi Man is uh, unveiling at the show. And these are these two new uh, combination streamer DAC headphone amplifiers. Yes. Um, so, Dr. Biang, do you want to maybe, we have two different models, you were saying, right? Mm -hmm. So this is the four, EF-499 and the EF-500. 500, yeah. Right. Yeah. So could you uh, tell us a little bit uh, what the differences are between the two and, and go into a little detail about them? Sure, sure. Yeah, the, um, okay. So we are um, simultaneously releasing two uh, uh, streamer, amplifier, and deck. Uh, mm. You know, they're two, two products. So they have uh, similar... Uh, Sim they have similarities with the previous um, generation EF400, which is a known uh, Artois deck mm -hmm. and uh, uh, Artois deck and headphone amplifier. Yes. Yeah, they are the Class AB uh, balance output mm -hmm. uh, amplifier built in, and they have the uh, for the EF500. The the deck is Himalaya uh, LE, which is a new generation compared oh, to the EF400. Okay. The measurement is way better, and the sound is richer, uh, is more organic. Um, so, yeah, overall, it's better. So the latest development then of the of the Himalaya R2R, Himalaya R2R. design. Okay. Yeah. And uh, the um, uh, the the other one for four ninety nine, um, we 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 met, we try to make it very very affordable. Mm -hmm. So it's only two ninety nine dollar. Uh, it also wow. build build uh, the Artois deck inside. It's a very classic Philips Artois deck. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah. So it's sound very um, uh, rich, very uh, sweet. Mm -hmm. um, so very relaxed to listening. Mm -hmm. And uh, the, the uh, that but that one the measurement because it's a it's an old generation deck. The measurement is not as 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 good as the Himalaya. Uh, so, but the sound profile will be something that people who are fans of that R two R sound. It is a, yeah, it is the the classical R two R sound. Gotcha, yeah. gotcha. Well, that's cool too. That's yeah. very cool. And uh, they share the same class A B uh, amplifier, and they also there's one more very important element, which is the streamer. The streamer, yeah. Each of them has a built-in streaming section. Uh, yeah, each of those has built-in streaming section, and so. So right now we are talking about a three or four hundred dollar level. Mm -hmm. um, you can have everything building together. That's pretty amazing. Yeah, you just with a with with a iPad or something, you you push the this the uh, high res streaming into this gear, and then you have everything. So this basically will show up uh, as as a as a uh, an output option on your yeah. on your app for Cobas, Title, yeah. Rune, yeah. or anything, and. Yeah. And you're set to go. Yeah, three or four hundred dollar one one piece solution for everything. Wow, fantastic. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It, the designs, you know, very elegant. You know, straightforward and simple. And I love the feel of the and the quality of the controls as I was I was I was checking them out and balanced both both um, yeah four pin balanced and uh, single ended uh, headphones. Yeah, there are the uh, the volume control is linear. Oh, okay. Yeah, and uh, uh, the design, they are very slim, uh, and they can stand down your desk, which uh, only have very little uh, size there. Oh, yeah, you very can, small footprint. Yeah, yeah. And, yeah you, don't have to, you don't have to use a headphone stand because it is headphone stand by itself. Very nice. Yeah. Very nice. And, and uh, it, I know this, uh, they have digital outputs. They have this bit of output, you said? Yeah. Yeah, and uh, can it be used as a, as a separate preamp as well? Or? Um, well... Let me see. They have, yeah, the actually is it's uh, input. Okay. Yeah, it's uh, the digital input. We have uh, the uh, USB or coax input. Mm -hmm. Or the preamp part. Well, um, no, it's sorry. It's, it's just strictly. It, yeah. Strictly yes. headphone amplifier. And yeah, they have they have the line out, mm -hmm. uh, both the RCA regular line out or the XLR balance line out. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, and they have the digital input. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Very neat. Very very neat. Wow, and uh, these um, uh, are available right now. Uh, yeah, it okay. is. Yeah. Excellent. We we'll have to take a definitely have to take a, a a good listen to them on down on the show floor because uh, 
we just uh, we just came up from the booth and it was packed on this on this first day. You guys had a ton of people down there. Oh, sure, sure. Oh, that's yeah. that's amazing. Yeah. Oh, very very nice. Yeah. Um, so yeah, uh, if if you also wouldn't mind me asking, I mean, I know we were talking a little bit about how um, Hi Fi Man's been around for a while now, and you said yes. it's nineteen years old. The company is. Yeah, I start I start up the business at two thousand five. Wow. Okay. So uh, the Hi Fi Man brand was registered on two thousand six or two thousand seven. Um, yeah. So it's a long period of time. I'll say. I'll say. Yeah. And you've de- you you've definitely you know your products have evolved from the original headphones that I remember, mm-hmm. and uh, and now you're into into electronics and uh, and all. I mean, and, and so many different. Um, you know, designs and, and, and you guys have been pushing technology mm-hmm. quite a bit. Um, so I, what I'm, I'm actually really curious about over these, these past years, um, how has is, how is the industry changed? How has the, how's the, the audio industry changed um, from your perspective? Oh, sure. Um, you know, when I uh, remember when I started up, I mean, at that time, people were still using CD players mm-hmm. or MP3 players. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so everything was stored inside. Okay, uh, the the uh, music was stored inside of the machine. Mm-hmm. Okay, and then uh, the, I think after a while, it's right now. It's every there's no CD, there's no MP3 storage. There's everything is streaming. Everything's streaming, right? Yeah, the, so the streaming is everything. So uh, and the the key is like so for example, cell phone. Mm-hmm. Cell phone is a streaming machine. Right, right. So people just use either cable headphones or uh, Bluetooth headphones. They actually use it to do streaming, and and also in the market in hi hi fi audio market, uh, in that tiny small niche market right now, everything is about streaming. Mm. Yeah. So I am I am thinking about to make the streamer to be a one piece solution for the for the audio file mm. uh, head fires all the mm-hmm. people. Yeah, so that is why I I want to design um, this this small affordable and do everything mm-hmm. um, all in one, yeah. all in one pieces. Yeah, so I think they this uh, in the in the near future I think it will becoming even uh, more powerful mm-hmm. and uh, and also be maybe even be smaller become portable. Mm. Yeah, so yeah, also they will. Support wireless very soon, mm-hmm. yeah, so that will be the future. Very cool, very yeah. cool. Do you see any um, any change in how sir, um, the higher end of the market is going, or is it is it still um, are there is it, is it still um, like do you still have a lot of sales at the high end of the market, or do you see it slowing down, or or, or people kind of tightening up in terms of what they're buying, or are they still buying like? Very top end headphones. Well, the um, right now the uh, I I don't see any uh, decreasing on high end. Actually, the high end is still be very powerful. Okay. There are uh, there there are uh, a large amount of sales. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's based on in between one thousand dollar to two thousand dollar headphones. Okay. Yeah. So the uh, so in other words, um, the future is the high end. It will still be there and become. Uh, more and more powerful. Okay. So I am thinking that in, in the future it will become, uh, you know, it will stay as the high end sound quality, mm-hmm. but at the same time it will become easier and easier to use. Mm, okay. um, yeah, just like streamer right now, and then in the future it will become uh, even better. Yeah. Very cool. Yeah. Very cool. Awesome. Um, yeah, Dr. Bian, thank you very much for the time. We really appreciate it. Yeah, I I thank you, Carlo. I appreciate it. It was great talking to you, sir. Thank you. You bet. Bye. Bye.